Hello everyone, welcome to Wicked West Books. My name is Meg West and today I am doing a book review for the Booksplosion book of the month of April. Yay! Geekerella by Ashley Poston. No! Now I really didn't want to read Geekerella when I first picked it up due to the fact that I was not in the mood for a contemporary. I had just finished a ginormous high fantasy novel by Brandon Sanderson and I just didn't want to read something that was just so opposite, even if I wanted something that was a lot shorter. Okay, there you go. And so even though I really did not want to read this book, I was not going to skip out on a book explosion book that I had already bought. However, once I picked up Geekerella, I could not put it down. You want, you want to be my teleprompter? I'm your teleprompter. Now we all know the story of Cinderella. There have been many, many adaptations since the Brothers Grimm's telling of the story. And almost none of them have been as dark as the original. Geekerella was no exception to that rule. Cinderella was my favorite Disney princess when I was a kid, just saying. The stepmother is a monster, and the stepsisters are absolutely horrible, horrible people. And poor Danielle is pretty much all alone in her household after her father has died. She's living on a memory of a shared love with her father of a show called Starfield that started and was over before she was born, but her and her father lived on the reruns. He created a con that allowed everyone who had a love for the show to come together and express that love. And that show still has enough of a following that it has gotten slotted for a remake as a movie. <laughs> you had it down there for long enough that that's just gonna be sudden bright. I hope you realize in the editing that that's your handiwork. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sue me later. <laughs> okay. But what happens when the lead male gets cast and he was a soap opera star who is obviously not a fan of the original TV series and doesn't share the feelings of the entire fandom? In the middle over her hurt feelings over the obvious betrayal from her favorite TV show and the remaking of it, Elle starts getting text messages from an unknown number, and the person behind that number is also a fan of Starflight. I, I actually started falling in love with this book. I love how many references to everything geeky that was in this novel, and just the way that it was part of the book and didn't feel out of place at all when either Elle or Darian made references to the cartoons, the TV shows, and the books that most nerd fandoms grow up with. This story was a really fun twist on the original predictable plotline of the Disney cartoon and I absolutely loved it and highly highly recommend it. Even though I didn't want to read this book it still made me cry in the predictable cry parts so it's got that going for it. I gave Geekerella five stars and highly highly recommend it and if you can the Booksplosion live show for this book is tomorrow at 7 p.m. EST and I will be there if you want to join in watching that. That's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. I post videos every Thursday or else I lose books. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wicked day.